Hello. Greetings from here. Welcome to M Special. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for being there for us. Thank you for giving in your time and thank you for supporting our freedom. You're highly welcome. M Special is here. I want to talk about what we saw last weekend. M Special is a Biafran agitating for Biafra freedom, talking about Biafra, Nigeria, the zoo, Africa in general, talking about all the affairs and everything that will upgrade and give glory or, if you like, bring respect to Africa, especially my freedom under Mazin Namjuku Kano, the man, the prophet that God has given to our generation and many Biafrans recognized him. But it was it's very unfortunate that those with him are the Judas in our midst. So I say welcome again and thanks for watching our video. Wherever you will see this video, may the Lord bless you for supporting us, watching our videos. If you have not subscribed, please do subscribe. If you are among the 75% watching without subscription, please do subscribe because the cross subscription will enable this channel to be monetized and more people will see us. Thank you very much for supporting. We deliberate on the news, especially the news on Biafra freedom, as I am one of them, my own freedom, the freedom of my children and our generations to come. And you, the viewers, will have the final say through the comment box. I deliberate, you bring the final say. So, I want to thank you, Kokikobi Omapromi Henine, for whatever he is doing in this very struggle. We cannot underestimate him. And we know that he is the one piloting our affair. And we know that in every bad news that we pass through, and in every trap that we escaped, that he knows about it, and he is in it, and he is the one that is seeing us through. It's just barely 11 to 12 days that we have finished our 150 reading of the book of Psalms. And I know some of us continued like I do. So today will be around the 11th, 12th day to, to read the Psalm. Today is 11th day, yes. And uh, the battle continues. So this video, I am telling my fellow Biafrans, we must not lose hope. The battle for freedom is not a battle that you, you joke with. The Bible says they take it by violence. And the violence is all around violence. It's through prayer, it's through, through fighting. Whatever we have to do to get that freedom, we must do. It is not a sin and it is not a crime. We cannot be in our home and I will watch an enemy invade and destroy us and our children. We must do what we can do and God will do what we cannot do. So I am calling and talking to my fellow media warriors that trusted and believed on the DOS led by Mazichike Doziem to now Tell me what they see and what they think about Saturday. When we are telling them that they don't see in the spirit, some of them do see in the spirit, but they prefer to protect an institution than telling the people inside that good institution the truth about the institution. They are more afraid to stalk the truth because they want to preserve the institutions. And in doing so, they have also given out the so-called precious freedom that they are longing for, unknowingly to them. And I hope that many of them will summon courage to come and to the reality, and not only come into the reality, but apologize to those that they have offended, like the women in America, like Dr. Mrs. Nelly, like Madam Bridget Okafor, like many of them that Mazi Chika Edozim 
has insulted the way he will only come up on air to talk about relieving them from their duty when he has told the whole Biafras on air that he has no power to relieve anybody from his or her duty. And those that he is supposed to release from their duty are still with him, destroying everything Mazin Namdi Kano has built. So we have seen what happened on Saturday. And now you will see that the battle is just beginning. We wait to see if they will accept that they have lost the election. I mean, the Buaria people, those that call themselves the APC, the Fulani Nigeria. Or they will do it like Imo states. Because I'm hearing little Kemu Kemu that they want to take it to the court. And you know when it goes to the court, you know what the outcome will be. But even as I don't, I, I wasn't in support of the election. And it has been done. And the result has been announced. It is my advice that anyone that has won this election must not go to the court with them. If they take that person, this case to the court, that person will tell them that before he will come to the court to answer for this, that the federal government of Nigeria should go and answer the International Court of Justice. And that will make them to keep quiet because they are criminals that doesn't recognize their own crimes. But unfortunately, those dealing with them has no brain also to follow them. Their crimes are worse than your crime. But you refuse in, the, in, in your professor certificates and doctorate certificates, you refuse to make use of your knowledge that you have acquired. And it has made you people a foolish and nobody in the society of Nigeria. If they drag you to court, tell them to go and answer their own courts internationally before they will come to your home to talk to you. When you start stand, standing on your ground, they will leave you alone. But if they take you to the court and you want to play along with your demons as one, you are one of them, whosoever that won, then you know you have lost because the court is their own court. Is their own people, and they will give you a ginger weed judgment, just like they have given Imo states. It is the concern of every Biafran that Anambra states must not become the second Imo state in, in, in Biafra land. And for those of you in DOS that has said, you know, every time you have a plan, every time you know what you are doing, I am asking you, where is Mazin Namdu Kukano that made you to cancel the election? Where is your promise and where are you, what are you doing? What have you told the Biafrans? You have never lived up to any. And you, Madam Neneanya, that everybody is calling and you refuse to come and answer for yourself. You became dumb when you are still alive. If everything we are hearing about you is truth, may the God of heaven judge you an instant judgment. May the God of heaven disgrace you and disgrace your generation. May the God of heaven never allow you to go unpunished. For Chinas and Uma slave, you already know that you will get your punishment soonest because even the land you are standing on, wherever you are, will not protect you. And for my Biafran people, I want to tell you the battle continues. We must not give up our freedom. Because all what China Samoru and what they are trying to do through him and whosoever that is working with him over there is to make the Biafran quest die. That was why they sold our leader into the hand of the enemy. And you will be a very naive person to believe that they are doing something. I, for one, I know that Chuko Kigobioma is the one doing everything. They are not doing nothing because action speaks louder than voice. Their action has told and has spoken to Biafran people how serious they are to release Mazen and Dekan. In fact, in my own analysis, I think they are very afraid to see him come out 
because their handwriting is all over them. It's all over their actions. But you know what? They are not God. The God that brings Mazin Namde Kukano to liberate his own children, the same God will bring him out. Before Saturday, before the week of this election called Saturday Anambra election, somebody called me and told me that the Fulanis are jubilating that they have crushed IPOB. And I say, God forbid, it cannot be truth. But what happened on Saturday showed that they are talking from somewhere. But they have made a mistake because they can crush the few people that they gave money, but they can never crush the Biafran spirit because the Biafran spirit is in all 70 million Biafrans, minus those that they have sold themselves out for. Those that have given their blood money, those they have banked in money, those that will perish with the money that will not go with them to the grave, those few will die along with Nigeria. Why the real Biafran children are stepping into their freedom and their glory. It only tarries but a while, but it will surely happen. Because Chukwokiko Bioma has given us Biafra. In the spirit, Biafra is here. But the demons in the planet Earth with us in our family are the ones holding the Biafra quest. And God will surely eliminate them like he eliminates the first sons of the, of the Egyptians so that we will step into our promised land. So on this video, I tell every Biafra, do not be wary. Do not be tired. And for those that have been deceived, I call on you also to wake up from your slumber because everybody wants Biafra. We all want Biafra. But unfortunately, we are all not seen in the spirit. So many of us are making noise along. Many of us are protecting the institution without telling the people that are in the affairs of the institution, the truth. And when you fail to tell your leaders the truth, the punishment will come straight to you because you will be at the end of it. It's like, it's like a, the final consumer. You will consume it last. So it is time for us to call a spade a spade and speak truth to each other and ask for forgiveness to those that you, if you have insulted, especially the women in America, Madam Dr. Mrs. Nelly, Madam Bridget, and others, you can now see that they are the ones telling us the truth. You can now see that the saga that the devil brought into our family is to have the way to destroy us. But unfortunately, he has, it has ended up destroying itself. Thank you, and tell me what you think about this video. Biafra is a spirit, and no man can crush it. Thank you, and have a wonderful week.